Okay, so part B of essentially the same question, the second video in our One Dimensional Collision Trilogy goes something like this. Now, instead of an elastic collision, what if 30% of the kinetic energy that it had was lost? What if 30% of the kinetic energy was lost? Then obviously you would expect everything to go slower. So that's one little hint. If you get answers that are bigger than in part A, you know you've messed it up. And it's a very common mistake because people screw up this next line all the time. How do you do the math on that? 30% is lost. Well, it means 70% of the kinetic energy is kept. It means 70% or 0.7 of the total kinetic energy before is equal to what's left over afterwards. And this is where so many students mess this up, especially the first time they try it. They put the 0.7 over here. I don't know why. Math. Because math. 70% of what you started with is what you end up with. Okay? And now it's just a matter of shoving it into the equation again. So we're going to say 0.7 times a half m1 v1 squared plus a half m2 v2 squared is equal to a half m1 v1 prime squared plus a half m2 v2 prime squared. Shoving our numbers in here, we're going to end up with 0.7 times 188 and that's going to be equal to 5 v1 prime squared plus 3 v2 prime squared. This looks a lot like video A and it's essentially the same except this number is going to be a little bit different. Instead of 188 I have 0 0.7 times 188 which is 131.6. I'm going to call that equation two. And I'm going to follow the exact same method I had before. I'm going to take equation number one, the momentum equation, which hasn't changed because whether it's an elastic collision or if 30% is lost, if it's inelastic, the momentum is still going to be conserved. So two into one, same thing, but a new set of numbers. 131.6 equals 5v1 prime squared plus, sorry, plus three times open brackets. 2 minus 5 v1 prime all over 3, both of which are squared. One of those is going to cancel. And I'm going to end up with 131.6 equals 5 v1 prime squared plus 4 minus 20 v1 prime plus 25 v1 prime squared all over 3. But if I multiply by 3, then I can get rid of that. 131.6 times 3 is 390.8, as I recall, equals 15 v1 prime squared plus 4 minus 20 v1 prime plus 25 v1 prime squared. Okay. Moving it all over to the left side again, I'm going to get negative 40 v1 prime squared, just like before, plus 20 v1 prime, just like before, but instead of 500 and something, I'm going to end up with, what's 390.8 minus 4? I'm going to end up with 386.8 in my head. I just did some math. Okay, no big deal. Grab my calculator again. You know what? My calculator is still on from the last time. It says negative 40. Good. It says positive 20. Good. 516? No. It is 386.8. And I hit equals and it solves it for me again. V1 prime is equal to negative 2.8, uh, let's call it 87. Okay, and according to my calculator, the other answer is positive 3.37. So again, just like in part A, we get two answers. It's a quadratic equation. That's not surprising. One of them makes sense. This one is left but smaller than the answer to part A, which makes a lot of sense. And this one is to the right but smaller than the original. Again, it makes sense if they somehow missed each other but also slowed down because they lost 30% of their kinetic energy. So the math is right. This is a possibility. It satisfies the equations, but it's, it's junk. It means they didn't touch. They missed each other. Okay, so no problem. We end up with V1 is negative 2.187. And then we want to take that and we want to drop it into equation number 2. 2 minus open bracket. 5 times negative 2.87, close bracket divided by 3, gives us 5.45. So 5.45 
meters per second. Okay. And now we're pretty much done. I should write a sentence. This is not a real sentence, but I should clean my answer up a little bit. The velocity of the first object is 2.87 meters per second to the left, whereas the velocity of the second object afterwards is 5.45 meters per second to the right. If it's an inelastic collision, but specifically where 30% of the kinetic energy is lost. But how about if 40% or 50% or 60%? You can do the math for any situation. But what if they stick together?